Good morning. This is day five of the cruise, and we are headed to St. Kitts. The ship is still rocking a little, so we're going to go down to Compass Rose for breakfast, which is on deck four, so we won't get a seasick. All right, we're starting the morning. We actually opted to have mimosas. So if you'll notice, everybody else is sitting by the windows, except us. <laughs> We are dead in the middle, <laughs> by special request. Wow. It's crazy ass <laughs> Yeah, I saw the station there. Like, well, what is that going on? I did too. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. now I know. We didn't know today was a special day. Turns out it's Sunday. So that makes it caviar Sunday. So that's why we have the caviar and mimosas for breakfast. I will be famous, huh? Good. <laughs> Waffles with bacon and sausage. And Janetta has. Oh, where my toast is. You didn't ask when they delivered it. But even though they forgot your toast, how was your omelet? My omelet is good. Omelet's good. Yeah. And I think it's coming. Uh, come? Janetta's toast did arrive. <laughs> so she can stop whining. <laughs> Tell me to stop whining. That was a good breakfast. Just gonna sit here, relax, and have our coffee. And here's our our guy Josea. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Can I have some uh, no, thank you. <laughs> Today we will be in St. Kitts. St. Kitts is the only port with restrictions. We can only go off the ship if we're on an organized tour. So we're gonna do the beach extravaganza. The ship anchored off the coast of St. Kitts, and we used the lifeboats to tender to shore. Once ashore, we caught a bus for the half hour ride to the Carambola Beach Club. The entrance fee for the club was paid as part of our Regent tour. However, we did have to pay $30 USD to rent two chairs and an umbrella. We swam in the Caribbean waters and we even tried our hand at snorkeling again. One of these days, I'm going to figure out how to use this camera correctly underwater.
all too well. <laughs> yeah, snorkel is work. That's a lot of work. That's okay. I got a question to ask. Um, I was gonna get the Caribbean's, you know, turkey chicken. Yeah. I've got a question. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yes. Sure you can handle the spice. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what? You're gonna kill her now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm having uh, pina colada, and it is very good. It's also very strong. So for St. John, we have an island off of Safari and Beach. We thought, how many beaches can we go to? Yeah. So that's we live we, in Florida, so we don't need to keep yeah, going to beaches. So that's what we're thinking about. Let's try something else. Yeah. Is that where Mongoose Junction is? I think they gave her extra because they left up her order first. Mm. Good? Yeah, that tastes like mango. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I told her to make it a bit spicy, and she said she was going to put some extra on the side for you. Okay, great. <laughs> No, I just don't like mango, I guess. <laughs> they both taste horrible to me. <laughs> you don't like mango? No. If that was a mango too, spiced well, they so gave her that, and some shrimp sauce on the side. So we'll see if she thinks she can handle everything she can handle. <laughs> well. Mm -hmm. Good. Are you sure you're all right? You okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Thank you. That is mm -hmm. good stuff too. That's good stuff. Spicy enough? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's we actually stuff. put some on our on the rice. rice and peas and yep. fish sandwich. That's real good. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so they gave us some extra jerk sauce. Mm -hmm. What? Your that sauce? is good. What's the red? Ketchup? Yeah, they ate ketchup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it have any spices in it? No, but I pour some of that jerk on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put some jerk on that fish sandwich. That is good. So we can highly recommend the Carabola Beach Club. Janetta had jerk chicken and I had the grouper sandwich. Both were good, but you definitely need to get some of that jerk seasoning yeah. and put yeah. it on everything. I put it on my rice and peas, I put it on my fish sandwich. That shit was good. <laughs> so. Now you know you can't curse on YouTube. Yeah, you can. You can't curse all the time. Don't they bleep it out? No, people bleep themselves out. <laughs> After lunch, we walked around the club a bit before boarding the buses back to port. On the way back to the port, the driver stopped at a spectacular scenic overlook.
After the bus dropped us off at the port, we walked around the city for a bit. We were gonna walk a little bit further, but it is starting to rain. Just like that. Just like that. Uh, guess coming now. You see it? Okay, go. Alright, sir, thank you. Hi, how are you? Good, sir. Tonight, we are heading up to Prime 7, Region 7 Seas Cruises Steakhouse. <laughs> Enjoy in time after a few years. I'm so thankful for the heart and the vote of the heart for all you've done for me and I can't see how it's involved. That's bold. He was right. What? That's bold. You don't like it? Uh -huh. Nobody. I like this as a smoked tomato soup with Parmesan cheese. Really? It's good. It is good. It's good. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right, Janetta had the poke with avocado, and I am having the diver scallops. I think that's seared foie gras underneath, but I'm not sure. So the scallop is actually on a bed of pork belly. It's very good, but I wasn't expecting it. What did you say, yours is mostly avocado? Yep. Just a little bit of tuna. How does it taste? Okay. The diver scallops and pork belly was very good. Um, Janetta had the poke. It was good, but honestly, my poke that I make at home is better than what they make here. I had a petite filet mignon, uh, twice baked potato, cream spinach, and some mushrooms that she's gonna put on top of her steak. We had brandy peppercorn sauce. Okay, and I have the ribeye, potatoes gratin, and string beans, but I have the Bernays sauce and the brandy peppercorn. A little bit different. My steak is done exactly where I like it, a little red in the center, but it's a little more tough than what I'm used to for prime steak, and Janetta says it's the same with hers. Yeah. yeah. Now we we do eat prime steaks at home that I grill, and they are usually pretty good, a little bit more tender than this, but they're still good. Uh, this is, you know, probably the most mediocre meal that I've had so far. Um, it was decent, but honestly, I could cook better. Well, uh, prime seven. That was mediocre at best. Uh, the steaks that I get from Costco are better than those where they were at Prime 7 tonight. And I guess my preparation style is actually better also. I'll say that. But anyway, um, yeah, it wasn't our best meal. And I think it's, uh, it's been five nights and that was uh, our most mediocre meal of all. It wasn't bad, but it just wasn't good either. We're gonna sit around and rest for a while, and then we're gonna go to a show. They don't allow any videos of the shows that are going on, so that's why I haven't been showing you anything. Today was a busy day, but it was also fun. Uh, the Carambala Beach Club was very nice. And again, the meals and putting that jerk seasoning on the food, that's what really set it apart. Tomorrow, we're going to be in St. John's, Antigua, and I think we're just going to play it by ear. We may go to a place called Mongoose Flats or Mongoose something. Mongoose Junction, Janetta calls from the back row. So we'll see you tomorrow.